Hello sweeties. Let's play. Let's get messy and have some fun and go on an adventure. Are you in? Grab your coffee. You're gonna need it. Hello sweeties. Let's jump into our new project, yes? Okay, we're doing ABCs for Precious Souls and I want to set up this binder. Don't mind all this mess. Um, I started started digging out random bits and pieces that we might could use um, for said project. And you may notice some of your work in here popping up randomly. I've got Happy Mail I want to start using because I've been hoarding it. Because <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, I did come across this binder that I'd started and totally forgot about. Um, I was going to get organized with collage and I started saving people um, so I could, you know, learn to draw them and totally forgot about that. So yeah, I need to get into that because there's some really good, uh, really good source material here. Oop, that might be a little something. Okay. Yeah, started collecting, well, okay, I've collected collage but started trying to somewhat organize it and I didn't get very far there's pieces falling out every, uh, pieces falling out everywhere but I'm gonna keep this handy with the uh, tote full of collage items because you never know what's gonna be handy can't believe I forgot about that one that's hilarious okay the binder itself that we are using um, let's see Still figuring out the best place for everything on my table because it's a completely different setup. Um, I've been pulling out things I need and then actually putting them away again. So hopefully I stick with that uh, that routine. I started to make a list. Wait, let's see. There we go. Oh my goodness! Started to make a list of things that we might could use for this project. Right. Oh, and I found a couple extra of those. Um, let's see. Let's chuck those in here real quick. Um, oh yeah, that's going to be glary. I'm sorry. We have clouds today, hence my mood of uh. Although I'm trying. I'm really trying. Of course, the migraine, I think, is the part that's kicking my butt more than anything. But say la vie. We're going to roll with it. Because that's what we do here. That, I think something's trying to attack me cootie-wise, so not digging that. So, we've got the, the vitamins and water intake, if that's even possible. <laughs> okay, I will save these. We'll start just painting on them and updating them a little bit, I think. We'll do a whole video for those. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, I've been running around. Wait, I've got to fix that. Fix the glare. The glare. Although I don't think it's as bad um, on camera as it is for where I'm sitting with the daylight lamps. That tends to throw things off considerably. Hopefully that's better. I don't know. Again, we're going to roll with it. Okay, so what might we use or need or want in... I'll fold it here. You use whatever do your setup however you want. I'm still going with the folder. Um, I did I did spend quite some time yesterday punching all the cardstock or most of it. Um, I saved a little bit for other random projects because I found another unfinished project that we totally need to do. Um, where is that? No, it says okay. I want to make sure we've got on hand little bits and pieces that we can use so we don't have to run around the art room or your art space digging for that one thing or where is that or you know that way we can go flip through this little bitty stuff or whatever and go oh yeah I might want to use that I might want to use that I might want to use that or start a page and go oh that's right here or I want to make it as easy as possible if that makes sense. So collage, images, and words, and that could be from magazines. Um, I've got down here somewhere, 
scrapbook paper, um, napkins, uh, stamped tissue paper. Look at this stuff. I got this in Happy Mail. Isn't it amazing? Amazing. Because I'm addicted to this glittery confetti tissue paper anyway. And yeah, I got it with all sorts of cool punk, steampunk stamped stuff on it. Fabulous. So that's totally going in here. Um, well, I don't think I need my folder at the moment. Let's just go through all the random things I've set aside. Okay, that's going to bug. Already having issues with my binder. <laughs> There's a surprise, yeah. Okay, list. Look at me being all organized. <laughs> yes, well. Okay. Small envelopes. Big envelopes. And by small envelopes, I mean, um, I've got the little coin, oh, little coin pocket envelope things. Um, I have plans for those. We're going to make little hidden pockets and, and not just art pages, but little hidden pockets for notes or, or like the oracle wisdoms or that kind of thing. So envelopes are different sizes. Washi tapes, whether they're actual, um, oh, don't mind my buckets. My bucket. Okay. <laughs> actual washies or ones that you make yourself or just random um let's see oh my. um i've got all sorts of duct tape and and randomness we can doodle on this or paint it or whatever um they come in all sorts of prints and fabulous now fabulous yeah prints i guess with images and whatever on them. I've got an American flag one. I'm, I need to get a new universe one or the galaxy one because yeah, I use the ever-living daylight out of it. I was going to make the cards where you put the, wrap the washi on there and stick that in, but I'm torn on doing that because if you've worked with washi at all, um, yeah, sometimes it just doesn't want to stick to anything. So I don't know if I want to do that and then you know, use it that way and then stick it in pages or whatever or just keep it in my bucket and go from there. I'm torn on that. But you totally could. Um, actually, I think I have one somewhere. Do I have one somewhere? Yeah. Again, from Happy Mail. So it's just wrapped around uh, a card or some such. So you peel it off and, and use it as you need it. I may make some more of these, I'm not sure, but these are starting to peel just from um, bouncing around. At any rate, when I stick washi down on any of my journal pages, I still use matte medium or whatever glue adhesive I'm using to stick them down because I don't trust washi at all. Uh, what else could we use? Tags, all sizes. I've got great big tags, I've got little bitty tiny with the string on them already tags, all sorts of tags. We can make our own. When I find the other ones we could use those. Um, doilies, whether fabric, paper, um, what, whatever, not just doilies but um, cupcake papers. I don't know if you've used those in your, your art pages or not. Those are fantastic fun and come in all sorts of prints and designs. Um, painty papers, you can tear them up and do like this kind of mess um, just for layering. We've got homemade washi on here. Yeah, um, so any of your painty papers that you don't like or aren't finished or yeah, are, are collecting in a box somewhere. I know you know what I'm talking about. If you're familiar with painty papers at all, you have a ton of them somewhere. But we can tear those up and, and use them as well. Um, I put gems and charms and confetti because I'm all about the confetti of which I found. Ooh. This is all stuff I'm going to set in my binder. But I've got little bitty tiny bags. I used to use. Um, I used to make my own vitamin mixes and whatever. So I used to use those. But we can take. You know, not even a handful, that would be an awful lot, but we can, you know, a good pinch, 
stick it in a smaller bag and keep it all in our folder. So it's, it's ready to use or we can flip through it and go, oh yeah, I'm feeling that. I've got stuff. Got all sorts of shapes. All the shapes. Um, and they're already getting everywhere. <laughs> And what else have we got in here? Uh, let's see, okay. Okay, okay. Book pages. Um, again, we can tear them up. Uh, music paper, any of the, the regular collage type stuff. Uh, stamped papers, tissue paper, napkins. I went digging through and pulled out a wad of napkins I've been hoarding. Um, I don't know if I want to prep those or stick them in the folder as is. I don't know. By prep them, I mean pull off the backing. Um, we'll get to that. Uh, da, 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 da. Scrapbook paper, yarn, thread, string, ribbons, um, of which I do have just random bits. This is off of uh, clothes that I, I didn't like that particular design element, so I just cut them off. Be, just random things. Keep an eye out for. I don't like old jean pockets. I love old jean pockets um, from that pair of pants that split or too small or whatever. If you're going to cut them up and use the denim anyway, keep belt loops or pockets because they, they do come in handy for all sorts of stuff. I've got random ribbon chunks. I've got, I don't even know where this one came from. This cracked me up though and I think I'm going to try and use it at the end of said project. This is, <laughs> it's not just a, a plastic clasp here. It's a safety whistle, <laughs> which I found hilarious for what the project is. So, yeah, we've got our safety whistle. Oh, it's cold in here. Go. Cool. Okay, it's going to break. Don't break it. There we go. But, yeah, I'm going to um, figure out how best to use that because that made me laugh so hard. Um, this is another random... I have bags of random stuff, just random. Old shoelaces, or you know when you get that pair of, pair of tennies and they come with whatever shoelaces and you don't like those, so you add your own new ones. But I've got shoelaces, I've got gold elastic stringy stuff, old puzzle pieces, or you, this one I bought, I actually like this. Um, you can color in your own puzzles. And I just use the pieces randomly. Tickets, ribbons, pockets, any of this this type of stuff. You guys know. I'm sure you have this stuff laying around. Do not go out and buy stuff specifically. Okay? Um, and there's enough of this in the community. If there's something you really, really need or you want for that one page, um, throw it in the comments section. And if somebody can help, um, I'm sure you guys can hook stuff up through email or whatever and... Um, yeah, help each other out. Uh, I've got ribbon, all sorts of ribbon, and little pom-pom, what is it, trim? Pom-pom trim. I've got beaded trim. I love this stuff, it's gorgeous. I love to use it as a tie when you send happy mail, which I won't be able to do for a little bit yet, but I'll get back into it. Yarn, string, uh, ribbon, more ribbon, old printout stuff. I found, um, oh, that's what we got to. I'll just pull it all out. Yeah. Uh, photo corners. These could come in handy for all sorts of stuff. Um, and I think you can get these at the dollar store too, actually. I love this style of envelope. Like, I think it comes from back in the day. My dad used to have a bunch of this, these envelopes with the, the string, and I, I can't help but love them. Um, I love the size of them too. I don't know where to find them, because I haven't really looked, um, but I do love those. Fabric squares. Now, do not go out and buy these. Raid your closet for all those clothes that you haven't worn for, I don't know, five years, 10 years, whatever. Raid the closet. If the kids are growing out of stuff, if you're not donating them or doing hand-me-downs, cut up that stuff. Reuse it. Repurpose it. That's what we do. 
uh, inchies and twinchies and, and just random off-cut pieces from that one project that you never finished. Um, yeah, th these would be some of mine. <laughs> Keep these. We're, we're going to use them. It's kind of a use it or lose it thing that we're going to do um, in this folder as well. Random stuff, uh, old printout stuff that you were going to use for that one journal or it didn't print out well or you didn't finish the project or had a different idea and just kind of abandoned this stuff and took off in a different idea. These, oh, some of these are from Tsunami Rose, I think, and some are from, oh, I can't even remember. But they are all printouts that are available. What is the other one? Tsunami Rose and uh, that's an envelope I stuck a, a napkin to and then painted on it um, randomly. Okay, I'm going to have to find what the other one is. But they have uh, free printables. That doesn't mean you print them and go and resell them. That's, well, that's not nice names for people that do that. But for our own personal use, yeah! But I have a bunch of this stuff that I found while I was digging through and looking for other stuff that I haven't used. I've got as far as sticking it on cardstock and I used some to do... I think I did two journals. I did one journal for each of my girls um, and I had a bunch of leftover stuff. So we're going to find places to use it now. And whatever doesn't get used, and we chuck in happy mail and hope somebody else can use it, yeah? So all these things. Go dig out all your old, you know, it printed in the wrong size, but you didn't want to chuck it out because it's pretty and you didn't want to waste the ink or, you know, that type of stuff. I have a bunch of this stuff. Um, these are just uh, napkins. Wait, let's see. To here. These are just napkins stuck to cardstock. Um, they make great backgrounds. Um little note cards, whatever. Some of these are just the painty paper style. You just, I think it was file folder I did these on just randomly. I had a wild hair one day. I had no idea what to do with it. And they've all been cut down since, stamped on. Um, some of them I started making ATCs. Some of them are just, let's see, be you, bravely. Mm -hmm. Remember the now. Miracles happen when you believe. Amen. Great things take time, right? <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch of this stuff just collecting, as I am quite sure you guys have stuff somewhere just sitting. Look around your house. I mean, seriously, it's a scavenger hunt in your own house. Stuff people send you, um, note cards, uh, happy mail, um, gifts, that kind of stuff, old birthday cards, you, you never know. We can use all of it. All of it. Okay, let me chuck all this back in here. If this is stuff, I've got to figure out how to put in the binder so I can see it instead of having to stop what I'm doing, go rummage through a tote, and possibly get sidetracked. <clears throat> you know. <laughs> no. Um, what else? Okay, puzzle, old game pieces, ticket stubs, inches and twinges, etc. Old art, random doodles, etc. I don't know if you're like me, but I just blow through um, doodle books, notebooks, that kind of stuff. Um, and I have no plans for any of that stuff. Um, some of it I just paint over, other of it I actually just chuck it out. Um, but I'm trying to keep those so I can tear them up and use them as, as background pieces now. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have seen me make these, maybe, maybe early, 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 early on uh, when I started the channel. If not, we'll make them again probably this summer. Um, it's photo paper and you just spray ink all over them. And you can use any kind of ink. These are actually homemade inks um, out of... Wilton's food dyes, the gel dye, um, and some of them are sprayed, uh, that one, sprayed through a doily, so you get all different patterns and layering, and don't try and do it all at once. Um, 
I usually do a color, maybe two, um, let them dry, and then come back and add to it. And um, they move, no matter what ink you're using, they, they move each other around pretty good. And if you're using alcohol inks or splash alcohol on it, um, it will move things around some more. You can get some really fun designs that way. Some just turn mostly into mud. Um, but yeah, these are a lot of fun to make all of their own. You can turn them into bookmarks, note cards, postcards, whatever. I like to use them, um, well, this year, that's, or last year, I guess now, 2018, we did um, Christmas card fronts with them, with the Christmas tree and all. Um, used them as backgrounds for that. But I like to use them to do the um, photo transfer type stuff. I put my medium over there, several layers, let it dry, do this thing, wet the, you let it dry completely, wet the back and start rubbing off the paper and you get this design, but it's ghosted, I guess, more of a ghost image, whatever. I like doing that. Failing that, you can just tear these up and just stick them in as little background pieces or, you know, make a dress for that, that one little character or whatever. We will do more of these. Um, I'll show you how I make those if you're so inclined, but probably when the weather warms up because it's a messy project and it's really cold right now. <laughs> really cold. Um, so old art, random doodles, etc. Also, I had an idea. If you're not inspired to do a page, like you're, you're flipping through and you're like, okay, None of these are resonating with me. None of them, uh, I'm not feeling that right now. Build some background pages. You can get a jump start. Even if your page completely changes later, you can start just building random backgrounds. So we'll do some of those as well in prep for um, just getting going, just getting something started, right? So that is the next... The next step of the process, I think, is going to be, I'm going to dig around and do this. I'm going to do it on camera because it's going to take forever and I don't know how I want to pull it together yet. But when it's done, I will come back in a separate video and show you the binder ready to go. Okay? I just wanted to throw out some ideas. I'm sure there's a whole bunch I haven't even considered yet. Um, chuck those in the comments below if you guys, you know, help everybody else. <laughs> we all help each other, okay? As long as everybody's being awesome and nice, it's all good. But that should be enough to get you started. Hang on a second, I had an idea. Oh. Okay, I want you to go through, um, I started digging through um, drawers and boxes and that kind of stuff. So any of this type of thing where you've started to organize or, okay, Dee Dee Willingham just popped into my head. She's like the most organized. Dee Dee Willingham and Bob Owens are like hands down the grand poobahs of the YouTube for us crafters, I swear. Um, Granted, they've, they've got time, uh, time spent getting organized and learning what works for them and all of that, whereas the rest of us are just winging it. <laughs> but any of these type boxes you have that are collecting all the little bits, you know? Look, I've got tags in here of all sorts. Some are coffee stained, some are haven't. Oh, those are the, um, what did I use that for? I don't remember. It's blackboard paint labels. Got little gems in here. More organza bags. All the gems and things. Look at those. Oh my gosh. So stuff like this, you can cut a partial sheet. You don't need the whole thing in your, your folder. But you can cut a partial sheet and stick it in those um, little pockets, yeah? We've got all sorts of Randomness, look at the randomness in here. Oh my goodness. I love this box. <laughs> I love this box. Tags we started to do. Oh yeah, I was making paper clips out of tags. I remember. It's got tiny, tiny little artwork on it. Um, sequins and random beads. 
And there's that there. Oh my gosh, that is more tiny art. Got little gems of all sorts. That should probably go in one of these. Any of this stuff, just random. Dig through your old scrapbooking stuff or your old someday projects or your leftovers bin. If you have a leftovers bin where you're making that one project and you only needed so many of whatever, which is, you know, how this stuff collects. Let me stick this in here before I lose it again. I very rarely splurge on Timmy Holt stuff, um, and usually it's on mega sale when I find it, but um, I make it last as long as possible. And I've shared a whole bunch, which I love doing, but I made sure that I actually have some left for me. So these types of things will go in the binder as well. Little people, for those of us that aren't up to drawing every time. Look, tiny little pom-poms. Tiny little pom-poms. Ribbons, I don't know what those are. Oh, those are big gems. Oh, I just had an idea. Okay, wait, wait. Oh yeah, tiny little paper bags. I love tiny paper bags. I don't know why. Well, these are sticky notes that you fold into the envelope. I think they're freaking amazing. Doilies. The old stars. Any of the old stuff you used to use for your kids when they were smaller or you just want to borrow from them currently. It's all fair game. Brads. Oh, I have magnets still. I am so happy about this. Okay. And a random wing nut. Huh. I have no idea what that's for. That's hilarious. Could make a charm. We've got tags. We've got all sorts of randomness. Loving this. Okay, so I'm daring you, or challenging you maybe, not so much dare. I challenge you to go through every single draw. One, it helps you reacquaint with all your stuff. Because <laughs> we forget we have stuff, right? Two, it's a great time to sort and organize some stuff or purge or whatever it is you're doing. And yet, yeah, we can pull little, I don't need all of these in my binder. I can pull out a couple, stick them in my binder and you know, cut some of these down, stick those in my binder. Does that mean I have stuff spread out everywhere? Yes and no. One, I have stuff collected for the project I need with the project I'm working on. That is something I need to do because I do get so, so sidetracked. You dig through that stuff and you find that, that one thing. I love these and I'm, I have to do this right, right now. There's a song I'm addicted to currently called My Name is Human. Um, it's probably not for everybody, but I love it. So I'm going to stick that in my book too, because, <laughs> yes. Okay. Let that dry. Oh yeah, um, all sorts of confetti. Keep an eye out if you're at the dollar stores or if you're so inclined or want to keep the kids busy, grab a hole punch and some painty papers, right? Or a circle punch, or if you have any of that stuff, run them through. I've got stuff I've been making, I haven't quite got them right yet, but I've been making chakra necklaces. I don't know if you can see the color on it. That one's green for heart chakra. But I've got these one inch acrylic pour cutouts or punch outs. Are they punch outs? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I have an orange one here for the sacral chakra. But yeah, stuff like this. If you get some that didn't come out quite right or um, you want to keep the kids busy, punch, punch out shapes. We can use all the things. All the things. Um, I need to go through all my little doodads and charms and stuff. I'm pretty sure my book's going to come out quite, quite fluffy because one, it's a binder, so 
that whole alligator and messing up the spine thing, that the alligator mouth that most of the journals do, will have a little leeway with that. Two, um, right now, especially, I'm, I'm usually into texture stuff or, or you know, the, the feely, not just the energy of stuff, but how it feels texture wise. Um, I absolutely adore. Ooh, glittery. Um, so a lot of the 3D elements and, and moving pieces and, you know, wiggly bits or pop-up bits or the interactive. I w want to do some pages like that. Not every page, sure, but some pages. And they'll have hidden pockets and envelopes and, and um, I've got little sticky Velcro dots so we can do, you know, little doors that open or windows or whatever. That kind of thing. So really, really, really sit down and think about all the things, I just had another idea, oh my gosh, um, all the things that tickle you or that you've wanted to try or write down your ideas as they pop up. I mean, write it down, seriously, write it down because we want to set the intention of doing things that speak to us, right? So if we had the idea for it, obviously there's a reason. Something we need to give a go. Okay, I'm gonna write down here. Spirit animals and symbology. Um, I've been noticing with a lot of my artwork's been leaning more and more towards I have uh, butterflies, dragonflies, I like toads, uh, turtles, lizards, um, owls, eagles, uh, my big cats. I'm all about the big cats. Um, but stuff like that, I'm having more and more um, ladybugs. More and more ladybugs. But <laughs> more and more of that stuff come into my artwork. It just pops up randomly as... Um, more of a spiritual connection or, or messages or that kind of thing. I don't know how to word that. But have a look at either through your art or sit down with pen and paper or whatever and what symbols, what, what can you use as far as if anybody looks at your art and you don't want them to know what it says or what it's saying or what you're expressing, um, how can you express that in a safe manner as far as symbology goes? Like um, butterflies for me, a transformation. I do a lot of uh, the death of this and transforms into the next bit, you know, like the, the caterpillar in, into the butterfly. Stuff like that that you can use as your own code, if you will, that just means so much to you and tells your story without having to tell your story. Because that can be terrifying for a lot of us. Because we don't know how it's going to be received or if we can trust somebody enough to share that or whatever, whatever the situation is. But we can share it in code, if you will, via, via our art. That's what art therapy is for me, expressing all of that. And, you know, people just see whatever it is they're going to see. That's what art does. People see what, whatever they connect with, whatever resonates for them. But think about your spirit animals or guides or symbology that's personal for you, to you, okay? That will be something I have to sit down and make a list on because, yeah, that, that popped into my head, which means we need to uh, explore that, yeah? Okay, where are we at time-wise? Rambling for 41 minutes. That's fabulous. <laughs> okay. Um... That should be enough of an idea, seed starter thing to, to get you guys going, right? 
Um, if you have ideas, I'm sure I've missed a ton of stuff that might help somebody else. Just check your list in the comments below. And um, yeah, we can all help each other. Okay, that's what we do here. We all help each other because we are the tribe. So yeah, now I have to... <laughs> I'm going to spend a while playing and putting pieces together and then the next video I will show you what the folder looks like at the time. But we're a lot closer to jumping in and doing pages than I thought we would be, so I'm very excited about that. Actually, let me do this. Not lose my list because that would be unfortunate. Okay. Stick this right here. <laughs> oh, because it's all about what tickles you, yeah? You do you. Whatever tickles you, as long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else, dude, it's, it's fair game. It's all good. Whatever makes you laugh. All right, I'm going to call it here. I will see you guys in the next video. Start collecting your bits and bobs and whatever. Figure out if you want to do, if you're going to play along. Um, if not, you know, I'm happy when you guys do your own projects and whatever and just chuck me on in the background. That is awesome. I do that when I can with you guys as well. I do need to catch up. I'm not going to lie. I'm a good month behind, but I will get there. Um, but those who are going to play along, figure out if you want to do... You can use a composition notebook if you want to. Whatever it is, you know, make an art journal. Um, do loose leaf pages, do, uh, I don't know, like, oh, let me check that there's nothing, nothing risque in this one, no, okay, do, I think this come from the dollar store, dollar store or Walmart, I don't know, but you, you can do whatever size you want, do one page at a time, make a book, make a folder, if you do loose leaf stuff, um, there's plenty of tutorials on how to bind loose leaf journals um, and we can come back around to doing that later if you want. Right now I really am tickled, I was looking at this last night, I really am tickled with this idea of being able to take pages out and rearrange them however I want um, or add stuff in the middle or that kind of thing. Um, you may not be all about that. Whatever's good for you. Figure out what's going to work for you because your journal is yours. However you do it, however, whatever feels right, do that because it's for you. Do what's good for you, homie G. All right, you guys. I love you. Bye.